the things you may be thinking that, that we don't talk a lot about is when to end my small group. Uh, usually that comes up in a negative situation. Death. Somebody in your small group goes through a tragic death. Uh, maybe a small group member, maybe a, uh, a family member of one of your small group members. Sometimes that really unites a small group. Sometimes we need to try something else. We need to find a different small group. Another thing that happens in small groups is divorce. When, a, when an intense divorce happens in your small group, it's hard some, to pull that group back together and, and create unity. You know, what do you do with the individuals in that divorce? Well, you need to walk with them and help them find a, a journey. Don't just leave them uh, and ignore them. Don't just not email them, but stay in touch with them and help them find the next place for them in their spiritual walk. Another one is disunity. When you've got a family or an individual in your small group that just continues to cause disunity among the group, you know, you kind of dread when they, when they show up, but you really can't ask them to leave the small group. Well, one of the ideas here is you, you, can, you can fire the entire small group. This has actually happened where you say, we're, we're not a small group anymore after this study. And we're gonna invite you all back but the idea is that we're going to come back with a covenant, with a purpose, with a, a list of expectations, a list of agreements, and so you can bring them back. Now, never use the word dissolve. You are responsible for the spiritual direction of the people in your small group. That doesn't mean you're responsible to disciple all of them uh, to, to Jesus' level, but the idea is that you, you are responsible not just to dissolve the group, but help them find another group to go to when you end your group. Now here's a positive opportunity. Your group's been together for a long time. You've been through births, through deaths, through uh, cancer, maybe through divorce, through a lot of things, through exciting times, graduations and marriages. And you're like, what do we do? I mean, we've just been together so long, we need to do something fresh, but nobody wants to really leave the group. Uh, you don't wanna uh, open that up in front of everybody. Well, here's permission to leave the group. Here's permission to end the group. Have a time that you say, we're gonna end this group after this next study and we're gonna give everybody an opportunity to come back to this group or go to another group after a month of vacation, a month out of the group. And that way everybody can make their own decision, no hard feelings, uh, but it gives you a chance to just relax and sit back and say, God, what do you have for me next? Those are some opportunities on when to end a group, but don't forget, don't leave people hanging. Don't, don't just ignore them, but help them find the next spiritual step on their journey.